you can use Corona as an example, but don't make it a Corona video. Cause like in six months, nobody's, or a year or whatever, like nobody's gonna care anymore. Right. And what I want is for your videos to live forever. Tell me something that I'm gonna connect with in the title that makes me wanna click. It's already coming together, man. I like it. Oh man. <laughs> What's up? What's I up? Giving, I was giving you the countdown. I was like, where's Dustin? <laughs> I'm here, man. I'm here, man. I have some questions about YouTube. On YouTube, yeah. um, like if you're if the um the titles and the um and the description that's on the thumbnail, mm -hmm. do they have to be similar to one another? So treat it like you know, if you're doing a website or you're doing a landing page, you've got your headline and your subheadline. Okay. Typically, right? If you look at most people's landing page, I don't have a look at your site, but you have a headline and a subheadline. That's what you want to think about for your thumbnails and titles. So your your thumbnail is the headline, your title is the subheadline. Okay. You don't want them to be the same. Never make them the exact same because you got oh, two chances. Okay, right? okay, okay. You got two chances to win somebody over with your headline and subheadline. If it's the exact same, you just you just took out one of your chances to win somebody over. Okay. But you don't want to be totally different because now you can be confusing people. Mm -hmm. So okay. think about what's the strongest value prop that I'm going to get from your video. So you're going to teach me how to whatever, right? You're going to drop one of your, your pearls. Um, right. And then what's the, what's the short version of it that's like, you know, three to eight words that's on the thumbnail. And then a longer version of it, but not the exact same thing. Like take me deeper. The subheadline is the title of your video. Okay, here, here's an example of a video that I just did for two, dropped on Tuesday, right? So I said, you know, how to, um, um, working, how to work from home. I'm going to uh, load it up. I'm going to go to your channel. We're going to load it up. We're going to uh, workshop this. We're going to workshop this. <laughs> I'm angling like steam in the house. Let's yeah, I, I, I want you to go. I want you to go. I want, I want to be in a hot seat. Let's go. Okay, hold yeah, on. Let's go. Let's go. Glass steam. Glass steam. There it is. This needs to be color. Your picture? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I and a headshot. Like I can't, yeah, I can't even know who that is. Who is that? You can't okay. see anything. Headshot. You got so much color, dude. Okay. Like vibrancy. Like you are energy. Because okay. it, it's going to pop. Like black and white does not pop. Okay. Um, so brightest cereal box wins. So anyway, okay, fine. See, That's I something changed, else. I changed it. Um, oh, dude, look cover. at this. This is awesome. Look at that smile, dude. Look at that. That's what I'm talking. See, my man Glastine, he takes cheap back. He's coachable and he does the work. I love it so much. Dude, when it, with this I got a like, long way to go, though. I got a long Two weeks way to ago? Go. When did I tell you to do this? About a uh, week, two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago. Look, and look, look, all, look, all of these recent videos have been all updated. I love that so much. Okay, you need to have more playlists, too. Okay. Like you only have one, one, you don't even have a playlist. It's just your I uploads. You, I'm working on it. It's a work yeah, yeah. in progress, brother. Dude, that's fine. Dude, I love it. Now we're ready to, now we're ready to level up. So you need to have like a, you know, confidence playlist. Although these three are all the same. Upgrade your confidence. Oh, part one, part two, part three. Okay. Right, right. Um, yeah, we need to have different playlists here. But anyway, what was your okay. question? Which one was it? Feel like yeah. a leader? Yeah, feel like a leader. Feel like a leader. Okay. So feel like a leader. Leading from home, how to lead yourself. This is so what feel like a leader is decent. Okay. Leading from home. Okay. okay first off, don't do all caps because people can't read it. Oh, pick, wow. Pick like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's oh, just, yeah. look at that. You can't read that. Um, it makes it hard to read. So what you want to do is pick the, let's see if I have an example. If I go to my YouTube, if I just go to my YouTube home, do I have an example here? Um, here, like this is one that we just put up. So I have a new channel called Black Excellence. Okay. Um, and here, you should always focus on what you like. Okay. So always focus in what you like, right? So like, so you have the keywords that you really want to pop out. Okay. In in all caps, and then the rest of it, normal. So you should normal always focus caps okay. on what you like caps. Okay. Right? And then yeah. we call this how to face rejection. Okay. I think you're doing this. You took one word and made it. Yeah, you're doing it. Although although. Uh, the most powerful word is what you want to turn into blue. Okay. okay. So, you, you know, you probably took the least powerful word here, right? Like feel or leader are better. <laughs> feel or leader. Okay. 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 Either one, right? Okay. Feel like a leader. So it's either leader or feel, but I would probably do leader here. Okay. Um, 
and then not, you know, like become a powerful, that's decent. The live doesn't matter. You can take that off. Nobody okay. cares that you're live. It just doesn't okay. value or not. Okay. So, okay. So feel like a leader is a decent title. I like the, even the thumbnail could be, could be the picture is awesome, dude. Look at that smile. Jesus Christ. I'm jealous of that smile. Um, more of a headshot. Zoom it in. Pop it in even more. Okay. Pop it in even more. Yeah. Like okay. just to the, just to the start of like where the, where your V is here on your collar, like headshot. Okay. Um, and then all of these, you can go back. Well, this one, you're trying to show the book. So I get that. But the yeah. other ones pop it in even a little bit closer. Okay. Okay. Next, like leading from home. Feel okay. like a leader is great. Okay. Why don't, why don't people like leading from home is not great. Why do, okay. why are people going to like, why, what prevents people from feeling like a leader? Um, feeling stuck. Okay. Um, not being able to, uh, not being able to have personal contact with, with their, uh, with, with their team. Um, just, um, you know, because I'm, I'm focused on what's happening in a COVID-19 where everyone's going through a uh, quarantine and they're feeling stuck and they are, you know, going to bed late. Um, just a whole, I, I would, okay, so things. here's, I would, I would try to not make it too topical. Okay. I would, I would flip it to, um, you could, you can use Corona as an example, but don't make it a Corona video because. No, 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 it's not a Corona video. Okay. Right? Cause like in six months, nobody's or a year or whatever, like nobody's going to care anymore. Right. And what I want is for your videos to live forever. Like, right. I think of those, you know, Les Brown speech in, the, in that Georgia dome with like yeah, yeah. decades yeah. later. Right. Awesome. Like that's what I want for yours where if it's, so what you can do it about, you can, you can do it around uh, leading in a crisis. Okay. Cause there's always going to be some other crisis, crisis. that will come up. Okay. So the, the problem yeah. isn't about uh, not having necessarily physical access to your team. Okay. Um, and it's not leading from home. Like that's a, that's what we're dealing with maybe right now, but it's like, what's the biggest problem? If you're, if you're not a, it, it's stepping into leadership is always going to be a mindset right. choice. Right. So what is the mindset choice? What is the limiting belief that people need to overcome? That's, that's what we want to lean in on. So how do, how do I feel like a leader? A lot of leaders uh, never eat, they feel like they have imposter syndrome. Like why okay. are people even listening to me? That's what's going in their head. Oh my God, I'm responsible now. I've just been an employee. Now I'm responsible for 20 people under me. I don't feel good enough. I feel like I don't have the answers. <clears throat> so how do I overcome that? Right? That's what, that's what should be here in the title. Um, so feel like a leader needs to teach me how do I feel like a leader? What do I need to do? Is it my daily routine? Is it, is it, is it a mindset shift I need to make? Is it focusing on surveying, like, what do I need to do to actually feel like a leader? And that's exactly what's in that video. I, I know, dude, because you're awesome. But it's not how you titled it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the titling that I'm having trouble yeah, with. Yeah, you're saying leading from home, right? Like, what is that? Okay, okay. So, so that's, that's just, that's, that's the mindset shift that you seem to make. Somebody who's going to come to this video, who's never heard of Glass Steam yet. Right. Uh, they see this guy with this giant smile, it says, feel like a leader. Uh, okay. That's all great now. And then the, the headline has got to pull me in even more. I want to feel like a leader. So tell me something that I'm going to connect with in the title that makes me want to click. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then go back and do the other ones, but it's already, it's already coming together, man. I like it. Yeah. Little by little, little by little inch by Let's inch. Go. Let's inch go. By inch, Let's bro. go. Let's go. It's by inch. Yeah. Yeah. And, and yeah, no, and, and fix your bio, your picture, right? No, no black and white picture. Yeah. Okay. Even, okay. even so this I'll picture, do, like that'd a be a great picture. Yeah. That. <laughs> and smile, dude. Why are you so serious in your picture? Jesus. <laughs> Look at this guy. What is that? You're so serious there. I like this one up ahead. Like, that one's nice. You can use that one. This okay. one looks like you're, you're going to battle or something. <laughs> Well, well, as a leader, sometimes you, you no. But look at you right now, dude. That's not you. Sides. No, you're not this guy. You're like your <laughs> smiles. You're, you're. I mean, I know you can show up and and, and right, 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 You'll right. give somebody the kick to the ass if they need right, it. I know, right. I know, I know. I know you're just not all. You're not a pushover. Glass right, is not right. a pushover. But like your smile is is infectious, dude. Like you okay. come on, I'm already smiling okay. without you even saying okay. anything. And that that's why the people will love you for that. So okay, um, yeah, okay. that's an easy fix. Okay, All right. so I'm going to change that one to uh, to leading in a crisis or something. I'm going to find a good title to uh, kind of uh, put that key word, the crisis piece. Yeah, and, and also in your speech, think about as you're 
making your video that, again, it's not a Corona video, you can use Corona as an example. Like, hey, for example, right now we're going through Corona and people can't you know, physically be with their team and they can't X, Y, Z. But you're thinking about this as in six years, this is still gonna be a relevant video for the next crisis that happens. Okay. So whether it's you know, 9-11 or SARS or Corona or whatever, the next crisis, leader, like this is your chance as a leader to, to, to shine. Yeah, right, right, right. This is right. your shot. Like it's in crisis mode that you actually build the muscles that you've been training all this time and reading the books and, and watch my videos and all of that. Like now this is the time to act. People need you to step up in this right. crisis. You need to step up for you. Your family needs you to step up for you, right? Right, right. I'm getting fired up for this video. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're giving me some ideas of how I want to title it. Cool, man. The, the, the next thing, the next one, um, Evan, is that, you know, you know how you um, extract some videos from, from, from different places and you kind of, um, um, you know, build it up to like the 10 successes and all that stuff? Yeah. <clears throat> Um, how do you get permission to do that? Uh, most of it is just messaging, right? I mean, like the first, first guy we made a deal with was Tony Robbins. Um, okay. And he, he promoted on his website. And then, uh, and then we just went down the list, right? I mean, mm. Grant Cardone and, and T.D. Jakes and Gary Vee. And, um, now, it also helps that everything I'm seeing is positive. Right, right. Stuff like <laughs> yeah. the ten know, stupidest yeah. things about Grant yeah, Cardone. Yeah, yeah. Although, like someone like Grant wouldn't care, right? But a lot of people have more, you know, uh, fragile egos and such. So you don't want to be Simon people. Right. So I look at you know who. It's better when you already have some kind of example. So can you show? Think about one contact you have. Right. Like take something that I said. You can use any of my stuff, any of my speeches. Take something that I said and then do your thing on it. And then anybody who follows me on Instagram right. knows me. Right. And, and my name would mean something to them to say, hey, I did this with Evan. Uh, can I do it with you? I like this speech. Right. Technically, it likely falls under fair use anyway. Um, and, and as long as it's positive, most people likely won't even care. Right, right. Right. Like if you took something from, from Gary, he, he wouldn't care. Right, right. Um, yeah. But there's always the risk that they could take down your channel. Wow. Yeah. Wow. They can do that. Yeah. And, and then it'd be on you to fight it, which you could, but now you're going to court. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So like that... if you use, if you use, if you use my speeches, for example, like of me, Evan Carmichael talking, I could, uh, I could copyright strike your channel. And if you right. get three of those, your channel is gone. And, wow. And, and legally, it would still fall under fair use. Like if you, if you use a minute of me talking and then you go for 10 minutes talking about what I talked about and then reacting to it and then going deeper or whatever. Right. Um, that's fair use. Like a court would say that's fair use. Right. But YouTube doesn't get into those waters. So what they'll say is, hey, Evan Carmichael copyright strike your channel. Uh, was this a, you know, was this a mistake or something? It would give you an email address to be able to write in to, to my team. Um, and then if I said, no, that's, it's a strike. YouTube then out of the equation and it's on you to go to court to sue me to say, wow. Yeah. So, um, that's like too much. <laughs> well, so like get permission. Like I never caught, if you're using, if anybody uses my speeches or something, I don't, I want to spend believe man. It's I, I, I don't copyright strike anybody. Right, right, um, right, right. But so you could start with that. And then, and then as you just start building up in the industry, I've been doing this for 11 years, right? So, so people, people know you. start to get to know me, right? It's, it's right, a process. Right. I think you can right. get there, you know, even a lot faster than I could because you're starting from a, a much further ahead point than when I was. Right. Um, yeah, but, but also like, I don't know that you need to do too much of it, to be honest. Like, you've got enough yourself. I like being the DJ as well. You're Glass Dean. Like, you're the guy. Right. Right, so I right, wouldn't right. worry too much about him bringing other people's stuff in. I'm more worried about what do you have to say about it. Right, right, right. Um, the reason why I asked is because I wanted to do some sort of video where I'm doing, like, 30-second snapshots of people uh, talking about, you know, their leadership experience or, you know, 
how has leadership changed their lives or what do they feel about leadership? You know, how are they um, impacted, you know, by certain things and um, what does that mean to them as a leader? So, so, so as a, those, those little snippets. As a one-off, it doesn't matter because if you get a strike on your channel for that one video, you have, you have three chances and that strike expires in 90 days. So if you do one video and that video gets taken down, uh, you're still good. You know, like your whole channel is still up. You have to have three. It's more of if you want to do it every week, then now you need, now you can run into hot water, right? If it's right, just a right, one-off right. crazy idea you've got and you're going to share your, your favorites and then do some commenting on it, um, then worst case is somebody does strike it and then expires in 90 days and, you know, you don't do it again. I'm, I'm definitely <laughs> going to use that video where you said follow glass theme. I haven't, I, I'm, I'm preparing, I got, I got my developer working on that to okay. make it nice. Okay. So I'm definitely going to use that one. So I, I need your permission to use that one. Yeah, yeah, go for it, man. Go yeah, for okay. it. Yeah, okay. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Really appreciate it. Yeah. The other thing is reaching out to, you know, celebrities and different people to do my interviews. Not exactly celebrities, but people that I want to interview as leaders. What's the this, best way you, to do You that? hack people's audiences, right? So like you've done this with me, right? And I just, I, I met you for the first time inside of a, you know, private right. mastermind group that I was speaking at. Right. Um, so now you have this, right? right. So you, you've done it with me. And, and Evan said this about Glastein, right? So you have that. Now, anybody who, you look at who follows me on Instagram. Okay. Who you want to mess with. Okay. In the entrepreneur world, a lot of people know me. In, in, I don't know, makeup world or something, like people don't know who I am. So there's, there's a good overlap of, of our audiences, but not totally because you're talking about people inside corporations training them to be better leaders, right? Right, right. So you think about who's following me, who are the leadership guys who are following me, who would recognize my name? And then you say, hey, I've done this with Evan. I'd love to have you on my show. Okay, okay, okay. I, now they still may not say yes, yeah, you know? it, it doesn't matter as long as, long as I do my part. <laughs> right. And then, and then you get like, who's your ideal person? Who you my want to have, like John Maxwell or like, who's the ideal leadership person that you want to have on? For me, it's um, like, you know, I don't see leadership as being like a title or a position per se. Cool. I but say who do you want to have on? Like, in, who, who's, like, you, who's one of your top five people you want to get on and interview with? Oh, John Maxwell is definitely one of my top five, right? Got it. Okay, um, so, it just, but it doesn't matter. Use this for anybody. So, you look at John Maxwell on Instagram, and he might be, like, it's not him because it's his team. Like, he's not actually doing Instagram because he's, he's, you know, getting old. But um, look at who he's following. Who does John Maxwell follow on Instagram? And then you start trying to get those people to be interviews for your channel. Okay. And some of them might be big names. Right, I don't know if John follows me or not, um, but some of them might be big names. Like you might have Obama and like all these people. Like, okay, you're probably yeah, not going to get Obama. That, to that's that's right one of my top five. There you go. Which one? Which Obama? President yeah. Obama. Okay, but people sleep on Michelle, and Michelle is no joke. Yeah, Michelle is Michelle is nice. Michelle is nice. I've met her. She but not is just nice. nice, smart. Like, wicked yeah, yeah. smart, motivating, inspiring. People sleep on Michelle. That's why I asked you which one. But, oh, okay. but anyway, John Maxwell will – like, the, John Maxwell might follow the Obamas. Okay, great. Like, the strategy doesn't become go get the Obamas. But there's probably 100 people that John Maxwell follows that you've never heard of, that the world hasn't heard of, but John Maxwell obviously knows. Like, right. maybe it's John Maxwell's uh, preacher in Texas that he's following on Instagram. Invite that person on to talk about leadership. So that when you're going to pitch John Maxwell to be on your show, okay. you've, you've interviewed, like, oh, you interviewed my preacher? Like, oh, you had her on and him on? A bunch of people that John Maxwell would recognize. Yeah, his CEO is, is nice. Yeah, his CEO is nice. But, but, but super accessible. Like, those people are accessible. You can easily right. get them on to have on. And then now you've got five people on who, who John Maxwell recognizes Right. Like, oh, all those people said yes to Glastine? Huh, okay. It's so much easier for, for you to get a yes for him too. 
I know. That's what I'm. That's 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 what, what I'm counting on, man. For these people to say yes, I just want but, them to say yes. But that's how you do it, man. That's how you do okay. it. It's like that's a long term play to get them, but you could easily do that. And for for any of your same thing for the Obamas, right? President Obama. He follows me on Twitter. I don't think he follows me on Instagram. Um, but look through who he's following, and a bunch of people would be impossible people to reach, and a bunch of people are possible to reach. And if you get 10 people who he follows and they've all been on your show, it's so much easier for him to say yes. Okay. Okay. Cool. I'm I gotta go. This. I gotta go. I'm gonna try this, Evan. I, love, lot, I know man. you will. Appreciate I know you're you, gonna do it. Look, I, <laughs> shout out to Ryan199524 who in the chat is saying, Evan, this guy is a legend in the making. I know it. Don't go go <laughs> check out Glassstein on YouTube. He's he's on his come up one year from today. Everybody's gonna know him. And and and, th and we can we can shout out this video to the fun time we had when he subbed in for my friend Mark Drager who forgot to show up for my show. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, brother. Thank you. Much brother. love. Okay, talk to you right, soon, man. man. If you want to see another awesome one-on-one -on -one I did with an entrepreneur just like you, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there.